Welcome to OnePlan Tutorials. We start this tutorial in the map view, and we are going to cover placing and editing items on the map. There are a broad range of tools and functionality on the menu. Firstly, let's focus on infrastructure. From our studio, we click Infrastructure from the left sub-menu, then choose the type of infrastructure we wish to add. We have a wide range of options in the sub-menu, arranged alphabetically, from audiovisuals to waste. Selecting a tent, cabin or container enables you to select custom colours and add custom dimensions. Let's go ahead and select a tent, then drag and drop this onto our map. After placing the tent, we now see the parameters panel on the right of our screen. This allows us to add a custom length and width. In this instance, let's make the tent 5 by 5 meters. Within the sub-menu, we can duplicate the item, rotate it, label it, lock or unlock it, and delete it. You can also add supplier, cost, and the in and out date for any item in the object menu. To relocate the item, we simply ensure the lock icon is unlocked, then move the object as we wish. The drawing tool has similar functionality, whether drawing barriers, walkways, cabling or fencing. Let's show this by drawing a barrier. We click our mouse button to commence drawing, then each click will change the direction. Once complete, double-click your mouse button to finish drawing the barrier. In the record, we have the total length of the barrier line and the number of segments required. All this information is available in the Bill of Quantities to give you full visibility of what your event site needs. Now, let's draw an area. For this, we go to the Area, Routes and Access category. Select the area colour of choice, click to start drawing, click to change direction and double click to finish. We can see in the record that we have the size of the area and the crowd capacity based on the level of service that we want to implement. To edit, simply double click on the area and move the dots. Again, all this information is available in the Bill of Quantities and Crowd Management reports in your event dashboard. Once an item is placed, the Placed Objects menu can be used to quickly locate the infrastructure you have just placed. This makes it quick and easy for you or your team to edit and revise the infrastructure of your event. So that's a quick guide on how to place and modify infrastructure in OnePlan. Keep watching our OnePlan tutorial videos to continue learning or reach out to us at support at oneplanevents.com.